Hello there, escapers. My name is Xenovilius, and welcome to episode number three of Are You Insane? This time the episode's a bit delayed. It was meant to come out on Sunday, but uh, it's out on Wednesday, I think. That's when you're going to be able to see it, so apologies for that. But everything else stays the same. The period that I'm going to be assessing is still going to be the two-week period between the 26th of November and this Sunday that just passed or the end of the Saturday that just passed the 9th of December so nothing changes in that regard and before we get started with the live commentary as usual I'm gonna have a quick look at what we achieved in the past one episode so overall my pet count was at 12 out of 46 at the end of the previous episode Thanks to the three pets I got in the last episode, which brought it from 9 to 12. So that is 26% of the way there, if you just count the pets, not in terms of time. These are the cases that I had for all the different bosses. And these are the cases that I got the pets at, out of the ones I remember. So in the last episode, I got the Dagonov pet and the two Araxo pets that come after the base pet, which are actually the only two Araxo pets that are required for Insane Final Boss. So it was a pretty productive episode, but this episode, no major spoilers, but uh, I will tell you one thing. You are in for a very, very big treat if you like watching people die. By people, I mean me. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Enjoy the episode. Bit of a milestone, 400 assignments, extra 50 points, and uh, yeah, that's 80 Reaper points there. I've got a ton of Reaper points. I could actually get a lot of money by converting them into Hydrixes, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get Dwarf Weed Seeds. Can't even re-roll it now. Dang it. What the hell just happened? I got hit a 4.4k with range at the same time as the Acid Core hitting me 3.3k. I don't know how many deaths that is. 14 or 15? I think it's 14, number 14. Yeah, a little bit confused after so many Araxo kills. Still can't believe I died to that. Not sure how that happened. Ah, <sighs> death number two. I didn't have my ring of death because I didn't think I would die at Vindicta of all places. But I lagged and I couldn't get out of the fire in time. Not happy about that. It's probably my first death at Vindicta for about at least a year. Or as long as I can remember. Bloody hell, one mil? One mil? No, please. Damn it. Yes, Cerosian Essence. I believe that is something I need for the collection, even though it may not be that valuable. So I'm going to pick it up. My bounty is also complete, which is nice and timely. And um, how much is it worth, actually? 368k. Could be worse, could be worse. Hmm, Vital Spark. How much is it worth? Uh, one mil. Nice. Never got that before, so... Uh, First time for everything, and I believe that should be a unique item for the collection as well. I'm enjoying this so far. I wish I had my accuracy aura though, because I'm splashing far too much. Nice! New personal record to finish a trip. That's my first ever 10 kill trip with a yak. I was recommended to do that by my clanmates, and uh, boy did it work well. Note that I'm not using a uh, reaper necklace for accuracy, because if you didn't know, um, I think it was a few months ago now, maybe a few weeks ago, they downgraded Magister's defense so that it's not as tanky as it used to be. Uh, also increased the drop rate of the Gloves of Passage from 1 in 2000 to 1 in 500. Anyway, uh, I decided to do 10 kills because uh, I'm on a Slayer task as well as because I just want to get this pet. Um, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to do 10 kill trips again and I can probably get it down to under one minute consistently. If I use Mage, I can probably do it a bit faster, but uh, I really like range and I'm going to keep doing range for a bit. Let's see what happens. Let's see how long it takes to get the pet. I've only got like two phylactery drops though, ever. I'm at like 80 something KC, so that's not good. LOL, that was literally on the same tick. That someone got the attack pet, same tick as me killing him. Wow, what a troll, what a troll. Still haven't got a combat pet yet, guys, so uh, looking forward to getting it here, hopefully. Right, before starting this next trip, I just realized that Magister can be stunned, and that means I can exploit the stun ability rotations, which will maximize damage, which are slightly different. So after I do a stun, especially with the reins, 
I'm going to be able to use piercing shot for extremely increased DPS to normal. Well, not extremely, but quite a bit increased. Uh, this is a strategy used at Telos as well, but I've never employed it. I'm looking forward to doing it for the first time. And without further ado, let's go try it out. And hopefully I don't fail epically. Yay, vital spark. I believe that's an ingredient for one of the sigils, which I will be able to get once I do some shattered worlds. Mini milestone guys, I got my minimum of 100 kills for the Magister. No pet, only two phylacteries so far. Haven't died yet, which is a good thing, although I've used up all my signs several times over. So, uh, a long way to go. Firstly, to get the pet, but secondly, to make that weapon. Because I believe the average number of kills required to make the weapon is about 500 to 600. That's for one weapon. So, um, I've got a while to go, but the drop rate of the pet is... 1 and 1k with a 200 threshold so once I hit 200 my drop rate will drop to 1 and 500 once I hit 300 once I hit 400 kills for example uh, that will drop to 1 and 333 so um, yeah once I get up those kills I will get my drop rate increase fairly quickly as well wow just wow I randomly decided to take out all the clockwork pieces I had for the event I didn't use a single one for the event Mainly because I forgot, but as it turns out, it was to my advantage. So I started at 800, 800k Dungeoneering tokens. And by the end of converting all 20k of those clockwork pieces into rewards, I have 1.15 mil. I gained 350k dunge tokens just by opening things. A bit more than that. Yeah, 350k. That is just unbelievable. I also gained a rubber turkey. I think that's probably my most valuable reward from Treasure Hunter. Actually, it's not even Treasure Hunter, is it? But the point is, I have gained so much dunce tokens. I only need 450k more. Is it 450k? 350k more to get the advanced gold accumulator. That's only 3.5 mil dunge XP past 200 mil. Not bad, I'll take that. Might even get the gaudy pet. Third phylactery guys, number three, yes. What in the hell? Back to back phylactery guys, not even kidding. Wow, might get this first weapon quicker than I thought. New pulse for record, you gotta love Reckless Aura guys. Just gotta love it. Splash so much less than uh, if you have shot, well you're not meant to splash less um, but you do more deeps with Reckless because it's 10% more damage and accuracy whereas Sharpshooter is only plus 10% accuracy. Phylactery and Key to the Crossing, wow today is my lucky day, today is definitely my lucky day, I've increased my Phylactery count from 2 to 5 in the course of um, nine keys in one trip well 11 now it's going to be 11 it would have been 10 but it's going to be 11 thanks to that extra key now that is what i call an epically successful trip 11 kills in that trip just about using my food up three phylacteries and best of all today's a day that i realize how good piercing shot is the most humiliated ability unless of course you were at a boss or a slayer monster where it's not immune to stun and this boss definitely isn't and I, I was hitting like almost 8k sometimes with it can you imagine hitting 8k with piercing shot that is absolutely ridiculous wow stun combos are awesome no that's another death first death at magister I was getting absolutely pummeled there probably should have used a restore or something but like I couldn't even outbrew what I was being hit it was that it was that bad I should have taken out rocktail soups from my yak but yeah thank goodness I didn't put any keys in my yak but I did put rocktail soups and brews so I lost all those god damn it one mil damn tell you what just in time with the clockwork pieces just uh, an hour later it's reset and converted all my clockwork pieces into coins I don't know how many coins I got two 1100 so 10 coins per clockwork piece yeah i'm very happy that i remembered just in the nick of time holy shit i got absolutely dropped from like three quarters hp to zero in one tick wow did not expect that i couldn't have done anything about it unless i was at full health so not wearing my ring of death at Magister is proving to be quite painful well two deaths two deaths not as bad as it could be but if i'm gonna do this long term i need to wear the ring of death and switch to the ring of the, to the look of the dwarves at the end of the kill which i don't know if i'm gonna remember to but may have to risk it for the biscuit 
Actually, I've risked it enough. I may just have to go with the safe option of the Ring of Death. I'm going to loot uh, Beastmaster first. Little Tuzzy. Nope. No. This isn't this depressing. Is I did reset! What? <laughs> I forgot Why to reset. <laughs> well, you can go tomorrow. Yeah, I can. <laughs> what the hell? That was stupid. Oh, my sign is down, so Pantheon is going to be called up. And Little Tuzzy. Nope. Codex, I'll take that. <laughs> Codex. That Beastmaster. That's rare, isn't it? This is going to be the most clutch kill since March. Look at the dwarves, go! Look at the dwarves. Come on, Yaka Pet. <laughs> Yay, I helped. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did we, get, did we get that? And I didn't even die. You didn't die. <laughs> no one. Well, five people. <laughs> five people? Four people died. Yes! Yes, I logged it! <sighs> that was the first major derp of the <laughs> of the weekend. That, that could have so easily have gone the other way, to be honest. <laughs> so many times I've died. No, but like even if, if you went there solo, it's not gonna. You can do the kill solo. If you go, if you go duo and then you die, then that's another story. Yeah, yeah. Pantheon for the first time. Uh, so is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's kind of a good thing, I suppose, because I'm using up a 125 charges, so it can recharge at reset. <laughs> Both my Pantheon charges were used up in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm using up uh, another Pantheon now. But what's the ideal distance to send away? Should there be just one square between us? Should there be just uh, two, each other? Uh, one square in the middle of us, yeah. so two squares away from each other, yeah. So one square between us. Yep, Pantheon again, so <laughs> I'll get a fresh recharge in 17 minutes. Ah! I'm not gonna get this. Oh, that's the first death. No! I pantheon twice and still died. Come on. But my How um, did we get that? What? My onslaught went off but it didn't it didn't do anything. Like it just went and cancelled itself. I was like, am I onslaughting or not? Because Well you clearly were, because I wasn't doing much DPS there. It was you. No, but I had full adrenaline. Like I wasn't taking hits from it, so I don't What the hell was doing the damage then? It wasn't me. You know, I got the onslaught plus do thresholds. Great. That's deep sea game. <laughs> no. What happened? I forgot to loot. You must not loot. <laughs> I thought you had loot like it. Is there, is there a warning for it? No. Jeez. <laughs> That's worse than dying. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, you just lost 40k. That's it. Or a fang and a leg, which is what? 140k? 140 mil. I forgot to activate my aura and we still got a record. What the hell? That's what you need. That's what you were trying to get, right? So 230. Yeah, but. Well, rip. <laughs> With no, my daily challenge. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All that for... Well, it was either that or 5 mil. Your choice. Yeah, true. And to be honest, I'd, <laughs> I'd happily forego 165k Slayer XP at this point. Come on! Lobby, 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 lobby. Yes! I think I spent like, how many? 2-3 minutes? <laughs> no! No! Bye-bye. I got the Reaper task done. Yeah, you got the, the, you died at the same time that Rexy did. Uh, why? Come on, that is so annoying. Yes! Vital Spark, and more importantly, a new personal record. I think Mage is my favourite style to use now. Should have used it a long time ago, but um, yeah, let's keep improving on this. I can probably get it down much more as well. Don't know if my Slayer Helmet works with Magister, so I don't bring it. Probably should bring it. Just be better be safe than sorry, huh? LMFAO! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, that, my friend got the Gloves of Passage like a second before I killed Magister. <laughs> I thought I got it. That would have been uh, a good moment. That's one for the, that would have been one for the title. Phylactery number six, I believe. Yes! Another one! I should probably start opening these in case I'm able to make the weapon soon. Probably not though. I think I need like 20 at least. I just picked that number out of thin air. No idea why I said that. Ignore that, guys. And vital sparks. I should really make a limitless sigil for Raxor Dews so that we can get them done faster. But uh, yeah, you know what? I'll do that after this. No! Thankfully, I put the Ring of Death on 
But what the hell? How did I die? I think I died to his ranged hit on his protecting mage. Oh, I was on a really good streak of not dying there for about 50 kills plus, which is pretty good for me. God damn it. Third death of the weekend. I don't know how many for this episode. Feather Amar and Phylactery. Not going to complain. Number seven, I believe. Number eight, nine. I don't know. Very happy with that. Only 55 to go, guys. No! No! I just switched my ring of death. Ha! I switched to my ring of death. Lol. What a fail. I switched my ring of death thinking I would kill him. Instead, I die. And number four. Number four, guys. Damn it. That's so annoying. That's one of the most annoying ways he can die. When you think you killed him and he switched to your ring of... Uh, switched to your luck of the dwarves. Out of your ring of death. And you die. Okay. <laughs> 126 rune arrowheads. Pretty sure that's double the normal. I'm pretty sure you get 60 something usually. So that's the enhanced luck ring effect for this weekend. Working. Um, but I don't know why I've got a Virtus mask or a Batman mask. I'm going to change it out to something more suitable for this. Number 10, boys. Number 10. A third of the way there. If the drop rate on average is 1 in 10, which is the average, but not necessarily what I have. Number 11. Yes. I should probably start opening because if I get 25 scraps from each one, which is rare, but the average is 10. If I get 25, then uh, it will only take me, what, 12, 13 to get... Uh, 300 to make a weapon. Phylactery again. Number 12. Number 12. Okay, so if I get 25 from every single one of these, I will have 300. Extremely unlikely, but uh, I'm not going to open it to be honest. I'll just wait until I get 30. And when I get 30, on average, I should be able to make that weapon within 30. If not, I will have some more. If not, I'll have or maybe I'll have some less, but I don't mind. I'll just go to 30. What in the hell? Back to back Phylactery, boys. Going to get that 30 quicker than I thought. Another one. Is that back to back to back? There might be one kill in between, but uh, I think that's three phylactery and four kills. What the hell? And that is the end of the task. 209 soul devourers. I think uh, there were four deaths in that task. Two during this weekend. And um, every single one of those soul devourers was a magister kill. So not bad at all. I think I've got if I do my maths correctly, 275, 275 Magister kills. Let's have a look. The Magister. Yep, exactly 275 because I started with 666 before the task ended with 275. And I think I'm well over halfway through to my first weapon, hopefully, if luck is on my side, which is pretty awesome. In the next task, I should be able to finish it. I've got six on me. No, I'm blued. No, oh, I'm getting hit. I'm going to die. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Uh, yes! <laughs> <gasps> no way! Why? Oh, dude. <laughs> Lucky. Uh, I don't need it, but it's nice to have. Nice to have. Can you, like, sell that? You can uh, die in the wilderness and get your friend to trade the GP. <laughs> How much is it? I think it's, like, 9 mil or something. Oh, wow. That's actually... I heard the codex is 9 mil. It's crashed a lot. What? <laughs> so, getting Acto is loop. better than getting a codex. No. I died? No. No way. <laughs> Rip. Five more mil down the tube. God damn it. <laughs> it's only my fifth. Only. No, I got hit. No, no, no. <laughs> I did like 150 no. Magister kills. <laughs> yes. Second time lucky. <laughs> Would have been a funny way to spend five mil. <laughs> I died again. I'm done. I'm no not doing with you. <laughs> Just lost ten mil, man. Oh, I killed it. Oh, thank you for okay. killing me and then killing it. Why did I kill you? Because you were melee distance and it meleeed me. What? I told you to stand one, one square further away. Why did it melee you? I'm not dealing with you, dude. You're on my block list. <laughs> <laughs> you before I get... <laughs> I swear if you just do something. I just oh, died. I, died. I sold it early. <laughs> 10k. I died again! I died again! Seriously, number eight. What the hell? Not sure why I didn't record my live commentary here, guys, but I got the Morty pet doing Zilliana. So I decided to do a few hours of Zilliana because that was the last combat pet I needed from God Wars 1. And on my first Zilliana kill, I got really excited only to see that I got the Morty pet. Not that I'm complaining, but uh, it would have been nice to get Zilliana because that's my primary objective, of course. 
boss pets are my primary objective. But yeah, that was my first combat pet, if you don't count crab, which I got like a year ago. Sarah Doom in sword, guys. I am rich. How much is it? 140k. I think it's as much as a GS shard. I don't think people get <laughs> notifications for it either. So thank goodness for luck of the dwarves. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even known to have uh, that I got it. That's probably my first drop for the Sarah collection since I haven't been here for so long. Another one. Yay. What in the hell is going on? I can't use my side and I've been getting this message random spam since last night I've got so much charge left on my charge pack I've got like 300k <laughs> 278k left no I'm lobbying this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen I'm not even high I'm pretty sure this is real I'm not dreaming this stuff up uh, please let me lobby please let me lobby please let me lobby thank you guess what I have derped yet again it's because my malevolent ran out of charges, but uh, I had no idea that it had. Yeah, that was the reason. Thank goodness I didn't ask anyone. That would have made me look more of an idiot than that I already am. Actually, it wouldn't have. I'd just stay the same. Once you reach the center of a black hole, you can't go any further down. So um, that's the analogy I like to use. Also, I had my soul split prayer on one of my food slots. Um, that explains why I was randomly switching. Okay, it's all my fault, guys, as usual. Will we get something good for the last... No, we won't. No, I just died! No, number nine. No, <laughs> no. 10k again. God damn it. That was awesome. I love the black hole special effect. In fact, I love this god sword a lot for Araxor. Back to the good old days of not having to worry about being one square away and all that rubbish. Just need to get my quick prayers to switch between melee and mage, which is obviously much harder than switching between mage and range because you have to have much faster reaction times. But um, I definitely noticed the increased DPS and the black hole specials very useful for stuff like P4 where you'd rather not be taking extra damage but still be able to do a little bit of extra damage. So a lot of uses for this. Really enjoying it so far. Hopefully I won't sell it but um, it will depend on the prices. I don't want to lose too much money. No! 4992! No, 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 no! I signed and died on the same kill because I ran out of food. I know that sounds unlikely, but because I did not bring anti-poison and I kind of zoned out in P4. Why am I even explaining myself? There's too many deaths to explain if I start explaining myself. Time to do DKs, so I'm going to make myself a Nox bow so that I can switch more easily. Um, not going to augment it or anything, but just temporarily. So I have far too many webs so I can make it. And uh, yeah, nice. It's been a while since I've worn an unaugmented Nox bow, but this is only for DKs, so that it's a easy one click switch first drop of this weekend from Dagonoth Kings guys it's a repeat item Berserker Ring well to be honest every item is going to be a repeat item unless I get the pets so I'll get the title when I get the two pets when I finish this collection so I'm looking forward to that whenever that happens okay back to back rings cool okay what I have no idea how I just died. Absolutely no idea. I just got reflected an 8.9k. What? I didn't even attack him. No! 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 <laughs> My Ring of Death didn't have charges, I think. 906k, no! No! Number 12! Oh, what the hell's going on? <laughs> I was doing so well until yesterday. I had only 6 deaths and now I've doubled my death count. What in the hell's going on? 13 guys, number 13. I'm on a death streak right now. No idea why, no idea how, but I am. I should probably stop doing Araxel, but I really want to do it. Get this one last kill done. Every time I do, every time I try and do the last kill of the task, I die like a ton of times in a row. No idea why I only die when I try to do my last kill and not on any of my other kills. But I really want to get it done so that I can get a new Reaper task before it hits midday, which is in 15 minutes. 13 deaths. Whoever guessed 13 is going to be very rich. Unlucky 13. As soon as I activate my Pantheon, I don't use up any charges, but I still get the kill. So that will be it. 13 deaths for this weekend. What's that? That's like 4 deaths a day. That's crazy. More than 4 deaths a day. Will I get something good? Nope, well, 
kind of. So I need to choose a new task within the next nine minutes so that I can actually choose it because um, after that will be a one in 10 chance that I can choose my new Reaper. And I also need to get a new Slayer task and pro probably get started on it at least. Okay, so this they just released two new trim requirements along with a huge number of patches. I believe one of the trim requirements is this guy. So unlock the quick home teleport spell. Okay, actually that would not be bad. Wonder how it works. I think the other one is to unlock the Mazcab teleportation codex, which is 2k techie. Not a problem at all. Let's go. 2k techie. Of course I can uh, afford to do that. Let's do that quickly. Yes. Nice. I wonder where it teleports you actually. Never used it before. Always used the group feature because <laughs> it's so much more convenient. Guys, I died at Edemus. No. <laughs> what? How did I die at Edemus? I was AFKing too hard. There's a highly powerful Edema I need to kill. Go back and kill that. And hopefully get the pet and pick it up without dying. Only 550k though, so not too bad I suppose. Looking on the bright side of death. Guys, I died! No! I used up my sign as well. No! This time I tried to X-log at Araxor. Three times I managed to do it successfully the fourth time. I wasn't quite so lucky because I X-logged a bit too late. So I used up my sign and my ring of death charges. Guess um, it was a silent death but I had to include it nevertheless. And why did I X-log? I don't want to lose all those bruises and rock tails. Probably should have just stayed on and forfeited those bruises and rock tails to be honest. They're not worth a huge amount. <laughs> no, I died. I didn't have my sign. Uh, ring of death. <laughs> oh, you didn't have your ring of death on? What? <laughs> that was the funniest. I lost both my Ictalarins and died. <sighs> my prayer ran out. <laughs> oh. I got it first try. Okay. I did, yeah. Next time, please ask me before. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what? I think I've just reached a milestone, guys. 3,000 Araxi, boys. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Uh, doesn't mean a great deal, but it is a nice number to have, I suppose. One twentieth of the way to Prestige 1. Sarah Doman's Whisper. Nice. I like it. But where's the pet? Oh, the second drop of the two-hour trip. So happy with this lol. One hour and 50 minute trip. Cut short because I ran out of charges. Let's have a look at how much money we made. I wonder why no one goes to Sarah Doman for GP. What the hell are these whisper prices? I mean, that is crazy. This doesn't even include my rune items, which I disassembled as soon as I got them, instead of noting them or banking them. 1.1 mil made in almost two hours, guys. That's uh, 500, 600K an hour. Nice. What in the hell? I got a blood necklace shot, boys. <laughs> I, did, I didn't get a beam. I didn't get a message. I didn't get anything. What? That is the weirdest thing I've seen. That 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 drop is worth 9 mil. And I didn't get an, any message. <laughs> 20 HP, boys. Uh, that was a close call. Three minutes left on my sign of life. Cool down. So um, that would have been a death at Adamus for sure. That was so very close to being 18 deaths guys, 20 HP off being 18 deaths. Now you know why I die so much, I risk it for the biscuit far too much, but who cares? At the end of the day, you gotta risk it if you want the biscuit. That's the moral of this entire series I suppose. Except that one time I'm probably gonna get a boss pit and die at the same time and not be able to pick it up. That's gonna come back to bite me. But anyway, 17 deaths. 13 of which I reckon you might have seen in the Combat and Slayer Weekend overview video. Some of you still need to claim your 5.9 mil from me, those of you that guessed 13 deaths correctly, so please do. But anyway, only 4 deaths outside of those 13, outside of that weekend, which is alright. And even in that weekend, most of my deaths were due to Araxel. I believe almost all my deaths were due to Araxel. Only 2 deaths that magistered that weekend. And uh, you might have heard me say a few random numbers there. In terms of deaths, I was referring to my number of deaths for the weekend, not overall in this episode. This episode spans between 
Sunday the 26th of November and Saturday the 9th of December. So let's have a look at what we achieved. Well, as you might expect, the most number of kills I got was on the Slayer weekend. In fact, it was on the Monday. I actually took the Monday, the last day of the Slayer weekend leaving everything for the last minute as usual and there are some pretty interesting stats this week if you have a look i have 69 araxi kills but 79 araxo kills which means i died 10 times at araxi which is pretty atrocious for someone with my kc i just passed 3k kc as well a few of the other stats are interesting i realized that this counter is not very accurate at all I had to use my in-game counter to calculate these things but um, i guess it gives you some kind of idea it is accurate for like half of them and it's completely inaccurate for the other half i have no idea why but there you go there it is and uh, unfortunately no boss pets this week but we did get a combat pet the first combat pet out of eight new ones that are released so one out of eight as far as that's concerned but no new combat pets no new boss pets this week which kind of sucks but hey what can you expect if you die 17 times in one episode slightly more than before or i died 14 times that was one death a day this is slightly more than one death a day and as for the drops well here's where it kind of loses meaning because these are actual drops not drops i picked up and one of the key things here is the key to the crossing and the seraphim and brew flasks these two i got from soften and slayer dungeon creatures and next respectively i didn't pick them all up so i take this with a massive pinch of salt more like a shower of salt these figures don't really mean a huge amount if you don't really mind that well 232 mil gained up from 160 odd mil last episode so not too bad i did i didn't get any drops on rack c in 69 kills this episode which kind of sucks but i don't really mind didn't deserve it so no worries there in this period i gained quite a bit of xp actually 9.9 .9 mil slayer xp thanks to that weekend although Funnily enough, I didn't do as much Slayer during the Combat and Slayer weekend as I should have. I did more Slayer on the following weekend, which was the Manaphos and Softening weekend. Got quite a bit of um, combat XP there. Magic, range, attack, strength, constitution and defense. I only got the constitution pet though, but that's probably because I'm almost 200 more constitution right now. Nowhere near that for the other skills. So, hoping to get some of the other combat pets soon enough. But more importantly, I need to work on my insane final boss and get some more boss pets let's move on to the overview of the boss kills so this was my total last episode and this is my total this episode thanks to the raid weekend or the combat and slayer weekend where you could do one raid a day i got four raids done between friday and monday so that boosted my raid count usually it would be seven raids in 14 days but this time there were 12 raids there so and a lot of drops from raids as well i'm really keen to see how much money i make by um converting the extra acto and the and selling up the codexes at the end of the series which will be a while away hopefully they don't make it so you can't get money off your act too by then but yeah i did quite a few kills no new pets but uh meh you can't get pets every single episode but hopefully i compensated for that by dying more and no changes here to my pet kc the kc i got pets at because i didn't get any new pets so my lowest kc for a pet still remains at harakin five kills i can never beat that well i guess i could if you count mega duckling i might get it within five but um i've killed more than five of every other boss talos is probably my next lowest at 14. now we have the mandatory edimu count i got one blood shard during this episode or during this period of two weeks and about 900 kills so kind of unlucky in the blood shards i suppose but i found a new method and made a guide on it so i really enjoyed that really enjoyed killing them much faster and being able to kill them to be honest i hadn't got an enemy task in the last episode so very grateful for that the opportunity to get a pet and yes if you die with the pet item in your inventory you lose it so i'm going to claim it within a nanosecond of getting the pet and picking it up time to look at the last two goals for the series the first one is the one you voted for the top five boss collections that you guys voted for before the series started unfortunately i don't have much to show there I haven't killed too many bosses in that category and i haven't got any new drops so nothing to show there but i do have some other boss collections which i'd like to show you guys uh, the first one is 
the D case collection. As you can see, I've only got two more to go, so that would be quite good to see. The other one is Zilliana. Now, I did quite a bit of, quite a few Zilliana kills this episode. Um, I need four more unique items and Commander Mini Miniana to finish it. Hopefully, I'll finish the collection by the time I get it. I've got all the other God Wars One pets. Therefore, I, I didn't show you guys any clips of me killing them in this episode although i did c kill quite a few of them i have got quite a bit of their collections done as well so as you can see what the hell i've never ever got a zami spear ever i've almost completed the collection which came out a few months ago and still haven't got the zami spear that's how unlucky i am with it still need the gloves and the zami spear so anyway that's a different series magister no progress i've got quite a bit of phylactery but still need the gloves of passage and him and of course we have the raids collection i believe I have 26 acto pieces, so nine extra. Wait, I can teleport there? What the hell? Oh no, it's the uh, lodestone, never mind. So yeah guys, let's have a look at the loot tab to finish things off. I've got one extra blood necklace shard. Oh, that's a spoiler alert for the next episode because um, I'm recording this on Wednesday, which is like three days after the deadline for episode three um you're not able to see it but not much else to show really i need two more tops so that i can sell off all my araxor stuff clear out some bank space and also finish araxor once and for all because i've finished the collection there's no real reason for me to keep going except to finish all my legs so i need two more tops i've been doing a quite a bit of necks um so that's a different series again but um, hopefully I get the next pet soon enough. And yeah, this is basically my boss tab. Quite a bit of random stuff at the bottom. That's to do with the city quests at Menaphos. So ignore the bottom row. But everything else is everything I've collected this series so far. Few exceptions, of course, are the logs, the magic logs and the U logs, and also onyxes because I keep using them up as soon as I get them. Everything else should be fairly constant because I don't really take anything else out. And that's all I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a pretty long episode. And if you have any suggestions for the next one to make it more interesting, if you want shorter episodes, which I'm happy to do, cut out some of the live commentary and so on and so forth, do let me know. I'm here to um, cater for your suggestions, guys. The longer the episodes, the longer it takes to edit, to be honest. So I would prefer to have shorter episodes, but it also means cutting out some of the deaths. Um, and I'm sure you guys only watch these <laughs> episodes for the deaths because what else is there to see so thank you very much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it i will see you in episode four